Hey everybody, it's Wendy. Welcome. I'm so excited you're here with me today. I am doing a fun watercolor card today. Um, we are going to use some fun products. The New Wonders stamp set. This is a host set and you can actually only get this set when you place a $150 order or more or if you're part of a party. I'm using Stays on Ink, watercolor pencils, my Stamparatus stamping tool. I've got some clean, clear water there, and of course, some paper. Now, I wanna give full disclaimer because I always wanna be honest with you guys. This is not Stampin' Up! paper. This is Bristol cardstock, and you might be thinking, well, Stampin' Up! lady, why would you be using any other type of paper? And the deal is this, that there are simply paper, Stampin' Up! cannot create every single crafting supply that exists, right? So I sometimes use other papers depending on what I'm doing. And Bristol watercolor paper or Bristol smooth cardstock works really well with water. Um, I don't particular, I didn't want to use watercolor paper because I didn't want that um, rough texture. I wanted a smooth surface, but I knew if I used Stampin' Up's paper that it wouldn't deal with the water as well, and it wouldn't let me move the watercolor pencil around as well with the paintbrush. So it was important to me to get a really good, clean um, image and be able to watercolor really well with this, and so I chose to use Bristol paper. I have a clear little cello bag here that I'm stamping on first with my stays on because I just want to make sure that I have my placement correct for this sentiment and I do so I went ahead and was able to go ahead and re-ink it and stamp it. So that's just a little trick if you're wanting to make sure that your sentiments are lined up correctly or in the place that you want them to be. I really wanted the end of that thank you to kind of point to the end of her pen so it looked like she hand lettered it. So we're going to start out using the watercolor pencils and Stampin' Up! actually offers two different sets of watercolor pencils. So um, I will link to those below the video. A great way to use watercolor pencils is to just add your color and then go over it with a brush with a little bit of water on it or you can use an aqua painter. Um, the other thing you can do is just color with your watercolor pencils and then not add water and it just is colored pencil then. Um, I really love these and I don't use them enough. In fact, frankly, I just don't watercolor enough. I wish I was better about sitting down and doing it more often. Um, I tend to be lazy and not want to get out the water and the extra pieces and the paper towel and all of that. <laughs> sounds so silly actually when I'm saying it to you because that's not a lot of work but for whatever reason I'm like oh it's extra work to do all of that. So anyway I decided to color Melon Mambo for the top of her dress and went with pumpkin pie for underneath her little skirt there and did some light blue on her wings and she is I'm guessing a little fairy is what I take her as. Um I decided to do yellow on her hair and a little bit of brown and then mix those together so she didn't have just a real flat color for her hair. I didn't have a great color for a skin tone so I went with the lightest pink that I had and put it just under the brim of her hair so that it would be a darker shadow in that area and then pulled it out with the water. So you'll see that as we go along. And you might also notice that I didn't color the entire area. When you want to have shading and you want to have it darker in one area and lighter in another, you want to apply your pencil in the area that you want it darker and then as you pull, you want to lessen the pigment and increase the water and that will allow you to have shading. And you'll kind of see as we go along here um, how I do that. So um, while I'm coloring and and doing some different things here. I'm also going to use Coastal Cabana ink and Night of Navy ink to do a little watercolor background so you'll see that as well. And then um, I'll finish be finishing out the card with some splattering. So 
Um, I'll be jumping back and forth talking about the card and then talking about my trip. So the last video I shared with you, um, I had traveled to Europe and I told you guys about our trip going and getting to Rome and some of the excitement that was surrounding that. And so we got to Rome and our hotel was not ready yet. So we got there about 1030 in the morning and our hotel wasn't ready. So we had to kind of just figure out what to do with ourselves. Luckily, we were able to check our luggage in. They were really kind and just let us check our luggage into their little lock area. And then from there, we were able to just kind of go exploring. So we went, first place we went was right next to our hotel and it was a church. It was St. Maria's Basilica. And funny story about that. So we go and we were really overcome from the moment we walked in just the architecture and the beauty of all of it is just incredible and both of us got very teary-eyed in that church they had an area where you could light candles and so we both lit a can or i lit a candle for my grandma and for my cousin sharon who is um battling cancer and um we just really like enjoyed being in there. We sat in the pews and just had some time of prayer and quiet time while we were in there. And we had took tons of photos and we were just in absolute awe as like, oh my gosh, if this is what this is already like, imagine what the rest of this trip is going to be like. Because we were just already amazed by this one small basilica. So we went and um, did that and then we were really hungry. So it was time to go look for something to eat and we went into this little deli type place and we were really overwhelmed and kind of confused if I'm being honest. We weren't sure how to order the food. It was kind of chaotic. And you know in America there's really clear defined um, like you stand here to order or you like and it wasn't like that so we were a little overwhelmed and then I asked the lady what something was that was in the case and she was like it's a traditional Italian dish and she was very like I don't know she wasn't friendly like we're used to in America but we did kind of come to realize that's just how people are it it's not so much that they're not being friendly it's just their culture to not be all gooey all the time like Americans we definitely learned a lot about that like wow Americans we are a very warm people and <laughs> we are definitely excited about a lot of things and show a lot of emotion where I've learned that the European culture, not so much. They are not as emotional and they are not as um, outwardly emotional, I guess, is what the word, kind of the description I would have. So we finally ordered some food and sat down and ate. And at this point, we had been up for like 26-ish hours. And we knew that, okay, going to the card, I'm adding water here. And this is a great trick. Anywhere that I add water, ink will move. Anywhere that I don't add water, ink will not move. So I don't have to worry about it getting on my girl because I'm not putting water on her. So when you see me add the ink, you'll see what I mean. So um, I, uh, we just, we ate and then we were like, okay, wait, maybe like, let's go back to the hotel for a little bit. We just kind of didn't know what to do with ourselves, to be honest. We were a little overwhelmed. We didn't exactly know what to do with ourselves. And so we were like, okay, we got to figure something else out because we can't go to our room because it wasn't ready. And we're really tired, but we can't sleep because we need to stay up so that we get our time turned around because it's like total opposite time there. From us and we knew if we like slept during the day then um we our time would be turned around the whole trip and we did not want that to happen so we left um we went back to the hotel and hung out in the lobby for a little bit and then we decided to go jump on one of those hop on hop off buses and we had purchased tickets to those so we got on one of those and we rode it around and saw a bunch of the sites that we were going to be touring in the next few days but it was really fun 
However, it was blazing hot and it was like a two tier bus. So I was sitting right in the sun and I am pale white people. I am not the kind of person that can be sitting in the sun for extended periods of time or I end up like a lobster. So I went down to the underneath part of the bus, but it was sweltering hot in there and so uncomfortable. So I was like, okay, and we're talking major humidity. So I was like, okay, this isn't working well. And then I found myself starting to fall asleep on the bus. <laughs> it's like, I'm falling asleep because I'm so tired. I can hardly keep my eyes open. So we got off the bus and we walked back to the hotel. And by this time I was getting cranky. I was hot. I was tired. I didn't feel great anymore. I was just, I mean, at this point we're, we're talking like 30 hours of being awake. Okay. I didn't sleep on the plane on the way over. So I had to let this dry and then I was able to add my splatters and I'm running out of time so I can't tell you too much more of this part of the trip, but just keep watching my videos and I'm going to keep telling you all the fun stuff we did. So, um, so finally we got into our hotel room, which by the way, if you've never traveled to Europe or if you have a, a trip you're going on in America, when we go into a hotel room, we just have lights and electricity, not so much in Europe. They have a little spot where you have to put your key card in in order to turn the electricity on, which by the way, is kind of brilliant. I was like, that is a really smart idea. So that every time you leave the room, you're not wasting electricity. Very smart. So um, they had that key card thing. So it took us a good five minutes just to figure out how to turn the lights on in the room. And then there was like this one little control panel that controlled all the lights. It was really weird. So then, we took our showers, which by the way, we could not wait to do. At this point, we'd been awake for like 33 hours. We were so exhausted and gross and sweaty and stinky and had been in airplane clothes and through airports. So we showered and by 6.30 that night, we were in bed. <laughs> so that was our first night in Europe. This is the finished card. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I so enjoyed making it for you. And I hope that you have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I will catch you guys again on Wednesday with a new video. If you want to watch either of the videos you see here, just click on them. Click the circle with my face in it to subscribe. Shop with me at shoploveandstampin.com. And all the supplies for this card are listed below the video. Take care. Bye.